solve 2x squared equals 72. So in order to solve this equation, we're going to want to get x on its own on one side of this equation. So the first thing we can do is we can divide both sides by 2. Now 2x squared divided by 2 will give us x squared. And then 72 divided by 2 will give us 36. Now the final thing we'll want to do is we'll want to square root both sides of this equation. And then on the left side of this equation, we'll just be left with an x. So the square root of x squared will give us x. And then the square root of 36 will give us plus or minus 6. Now this plus or minus is easy to forget. However, it's important for this question because it's worth one mark in the answer. So our final answer is plus or minus 6. And we'll get one mark for the plus or minus. And we'll get one mark for the 6. Expand and simplify 2x plus 1 multiplied by 3x minus 2. So in order to do this question, it can sometimes be helpful to draw arrows. So these arrows show which terms we need to multiply together. So we can first start off with 2x multiplied by 3x. So 2 multiplied by 3 is 6. And then x multiplied by x will give us x squared. 2x multiplied by negative 2 will give us negative 4x. Positive 1 multiplied by 3x will give us plus 3x. And then positive 1 multiplied by negative 2 will give us negative 2. So now the final thing we need to do is simplify down this expression. And the terms we'll need to simplify are these 2x terms in the middle. So negative 4x plus 3x will give us negative x. And this is our final answer. Now this question's worth two marks. We'll get one mark for the original expansion and the second mark for the correct answer. Factorise x squared plus 6x plus 9. So when factorising quadratics, we want to find two numbers which will multiply together to make the constant which is this numerical term on the end, and then two numbers which will add together to make the x coefficient, which is this 6 here. So we'll want two numbers which will multiply to make 9 and add to make 6. So we can start by listing numbers which will multiply together to make 9. So we have 1 multiplied by 9, 2 is not a factor of 9, and then we have 3 multiplied by 3. Now 1 plus 9 is not equal to 6, however 3 plus 3 is equal to 6. Therefore, x plus 3 is a factor of this quadratic. So what this means is that x squared plus 6x plus 9 is equal to x plus 3 multiplied by x plus 3. And we can simplify this down to x plus 3 squared. And this question's worth one mark and this is for the correct answer.